Hey everyone, how's it going? So, welcome to one of my uh, notorious uh, time-lapse videos. Uh, I'm doing this on something of a whim, I just decided to, that I would do it this morning. Uh, and I am going to reorganize my shelves some. Uh, I recently, my mom has visited and she helped to organize my apartment a bit better. And so it, that actually freed up an entire bookcase that was that I was using for like CDs and records and whatnot. So I, ha I got an entirely new bookcase that I can put books on. Uh, and I also acquired a bunch of books that need to be sort of woven into my library's organization. Uh, so I need to organize my books, including the new bookcase. Uh, well, it's not really a new bookcase, obviously. It's a bookcase that I had before, but a bookcase that has now become available to books. Uh, and incorporate the new books into my old books. Uh, and I already know that I now own too many books to fit on my shelves. So uh, at the end of the video, there's going to be some books that I just have to sort of store someplace or something like that. But I like the I like doing these time lapse videos. I enjoy how they turn out, and people seem to enjoy them. So I thought I would do one of my myself organizing the books. Uh, but before I do the time lapse, I'll just sh show you the lay of the land and what I'm thinking is going to happen in this organization in the whole process, and we will see if that happens uh, over the course of the next couple hours uh, as I do the time lapse. But uh, anyway, so I will I will stop talking and I will show you kind of how I want things organized. So uh, this right here is the sh the bookcase that I have owned for a long time, but that has just become available for uh, storing books. These are books that I have recently acquired that I have yet to incorporate into the bookcases and, uh, and yeah, so I have to incorporate those and I and I also have to incorporate these because a lot of these are books that I have recently acquired and don't have a spot for. Uh, and then here you have my regular old shelves, uh, the brown one over here with uh, the skull and the squirrel on top, uh, and then we have my, my big black bookshelves here. Um, with the door in the way, uh, and um, then we have this lone shelf here, uh, and so the way that th this is organized right now, for now, this is just books that aren't incorporated in any, in any sort of organizational sense, so those are ju that's just chaos right there. <laughs> but over here, we have on this sh uh, bookcase and like that shelf, plus a little bit onto there, is all fiction, and then from here, 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 uh, to around here, I think, that green one right there, that is drama, so plays and such. Uh, and then from there, that shelf, that shelf, that shelf, that shelf, up to about there is poetry. And then there is some sort of medieval romances, narrative poems there at the end. And then from, and then from that red one there, down to like this Bible right here is religious texts. And then from here, here... And here are memoir, autobiographies, and biographies. Uh, and then from around that red one right there, all the way to the end of here is just general nonfiction. Uh, and then this is just sort of a, a shelf for books that don't fit anywhere else, so like reference books. Uh, you can see my I have a music book there, uh, Oxford Dictionary of English Literature, some encyclopedias. Uh, yeah, yeah, so just to catch all for some books that don't fit easily into other places. Uh, and then down here we have my very small collection of art books. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's how it's organized for now. Um, and what I'm thinking is going to happen is I think I'm going to try to fit all of the poetry over here on this bookcase. I think it could all fit um, from, from over, so the poetry, remember, is these three shelves and then that one plus that one. So I think all the poetry could fit over here. And then wherever the poetry ends, the fiction will begin, and then it'll just go like it is right now. So we'll have fiction, then we'll have drama, then we'll skip over the poetry and go right into the uh, uh, religious text and autobiography, biography, and memoir, uh, and then general nonfiction. And I don't plan to change this shelf at all. Um, so that's what I'm hoping, so we will see how it goes, and I will just uh, start the uh, time lapse now.
So that is the number of books that I was not able to fit on my shelf. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's not bad. But anyway, this was a, a, an interesting process. I actually ended up deciding to unhaul some books to make room. And they're, they're books... I, I have good reasons for getting rid of them. So this one, Infidel by Ion Hirsi Ali. I actually recently found a hardcover of this that's in much better condition. So I'm just getting rid of this paperback because uh, I prefer reading hardcovers anyway and this paperback isn't in the best shape anyway. Uh, this, The Evidence for God by Keith Ward, which I recently read uh, for maybe Midrash and didn't like anyway, so I am just going to get rid of it. Um, About Behaviorism by B.F. Skinner. Uh, very interesting historically in terms of the development of psychology as a field, but not necessarily something I think I will reference that much and not something that I loved enough to uh, want to keep. Um, this uh, is Love and Garbage by Ivan Klima. Uh, I thought that I would love this book. I It was a lot going for it, but I tried to read it a few years ago and never finished it. And I thought that I would hold, would hold on to it and eventually finish it, but it's been like two or three years since I tried to read it and didn't finish it and I'm feeling like it's just never gonna happen so I got rid of I'm gonna get rid of that this is a uh, blue is the warmest color by Julie Moreau uh, I love the film adaptation of this graphic novel and I really liked the graphic novel itself but not quite in the same way as the film so I think I can part with it pretty easily this is uh, the book of forms by Louis Turco uh, which is just a sort of, uh, as the subtitle was just, a handbook of uh, formal poetry. This is a relic of the time when I wanted to write poetry. And I, I don't write poetry anymore. I haven't written a poem in years, uh, and I never reference this at all. So I think I can easily let go of it. This is uh, Elizabeth Bishop by Colm Toybin. And I do love Elizabeth Bishop. But this book wasn't really a, a, a keeper or a must-read, I must say. It was good. I liked it. I learned a lot about Elizabeth Bishop, but I don't know that I'll ever reread it. Um, and so it's easy to get rid of. This is Box Musical Universe by Christoph Wolff. Uh, I do love Bach, uh, and Christoph Wolff has written a extremely respected biography of Bach uh, that I would like to read, but this is just sort of a very technical analysis of a lot of Bach's music. And so a lot of it went over my head, and so I didn't end up really feeling like I got it very much. So I think, again, I can easily part with that. And then this, this is such a tragedy. This is, this is uh, the world's best poems, uh, an anthology, and I actually uh, got this from my grandmother when she was dying of cancer, and so it has a certain degree of sentimental value. But as you can see, it has gotten damaged because of my lovely cat. <laughs> uh, and I didn't, I wasn't awake when this happened, so there was no way I could have stopped it, and even so, my cat is so stubborn that I'm not sure if I could have stopped it. So I think I will part with this too. I'm sure someone will find it. Uh, and and like it. I have other books that I got from my grandma on her deathbed so I can cherish those uh, and I don't reference this anthology very much so I think I can part with it without breaking anyone's heart. So anyway, so I unhauled those books mostly to create room, extra room for this process. So anyway, uh, so you can see here uh, right below Caravaggio's Narcissus we have the poetry. Uh, and we begin with poetry anthologies up here uh, before we move into work by individual poets uh, down here. And unfortunately, not all of the poetry fit on this bookcase, so I had to put some of it on the top shelf over here. Uh, and so poetry goes until about right here. And then we have this brief little section that's like sort of, you see I have my Icelandic sagas, I have... Les Mort d'Artur, The Song of Roland, some medieval medieval romances. Uh, and these are these are books that aren't quite fiction, but aren't exactly poetry either, and aren't exactly anything else. 
So you can see I have the Tane there as well, which I guess is sort of an epic, but it's like a prose epic, so like, eh, I don't know. Uh, and then the first book I have in my... So this begins fiction, fiction proper. And the first book I have here is The Great Stories of the American West. And this is an anthology, so I wasn't quite sure where to where to put it. I, I categorize my books alphabetically by author usually, but this is just, this, you know, has a number of authors plus an editor. So I just put it at the beginning. And then we have fiction, uh, alphabetical by author. My two, my two lamps. I have two lamps by my bed because I'm a weirdo. Um, so fiction, fiction, more fiction. And then we, uh, okay, sorry, more fiction. And then somewhere, and then write, here, we transition to drama, plays. Uh, so, plays, you can see all my sh my three collected volumes of Shakespeare, lots of Shakespeare, 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 uh, some Bernard Shaw, um, yeah, so on and so forth. Some religious texts here, the Analects of Confucius, you can probably see there, three copies of the Bible, uh, says the atheist. <laughs> um, and then we have autobiography, biographies, and memoirs here. Uh, one of my favorite sections of my bookshelves because I, I love this genre so much. Uh, and then the rest of it is just general non-fiction out here. And so the, the, the nine books that didn't fit were all non-fiction, which is fine. So anyway, that's, uh, that's this video. I'll leave it at that. I hope you all enjoyed. I may be ordering a new bookcase soon. So you may be seeing another sort of time-lapse time -lapse video soon. So um, you can either look forward to or dread that, depending on uh, what your attitude is. So uh, anyway, I will talk to you all later. Bye.